Hey there hikers, Adam here, and these are the best waterfall hikes in the state of Maine. We're starting off at number 15 with the Bickford Slides. Located near Stowe, Maine, the Bickford Slides is a series of three different sliding waterfalls along the Bickford Brook. And the slides are found along a two mile long loop trail with the difficulty of off the beaten path. I'll be the first to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of slides, if you can even consider them waterfalls. But the Bickford Slides do have a lot going for them. First, you're not getting one slide here, but three, a lower slide, a middle slide and an upper slide. Secondly, these slides are quite long, especially the lower slide, which also shoots through several cool and interesting rock formations. And finally, the actual trail to the slides is an absolute joy to hike and makes visiting them a fun experience all around. At number 14 is Snow Falls. Located near West Paris, Maine, Snow Falls is a 25 foot tall plunge and cascade waterfall. And the waterfall is found on a 0.2 mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of a walk in the woods. Now this is a powerful waterfall. Look at all that water gushing through that rock channel. I really wish I could have ranked Snow Falls higher, but its most impressive drop is hiding directly under the footbridge you're standing on. And it's difficult to truly admire that waterfall from this angle. Also, the hike here is totally non-existent since this is just a roadside picnic area. But luckily, the falls does deliver with several cool vantage points of the roaring rapids from either side of the gorge. And the footbridge has some quite enjoyable views as well, bringing snow falls to its spot here at number 14. At number 13 is the Cataracts. Located near Bethel, Maine, the Cataracts is a 70 foot tall horsetail waterfall. And the waterfall is found at the end of a 0.8 mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of off the beaten path. Warning, this cataract is extremely tall and its viewpoints are from dangerously high and precarious cliff edges. Use caution and respect the safety fences. That being said, the cataract is extremely impressive in its exceptionally tall plunge, the tallest we've seen thus far and one of the tallest in the whole state. It is cool to see the stream narrow and then slide right off the rock sheet. But honestly, the whole experience had me on edge and rather nervous the whole time, helping keep the cataract to its spot here at number 13. At number 12 is Mosher Hill Falls. Located near Farmington, Maine, Mosher Hill Falls is a 45 foot tall horsetail waterfall. And the waterfall is found at the end of a half mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of off the beaten path. This waterfall is truly a hidden gem. Who knew that such a small unassuming brook could be hiding such a tall and charismatic horsetail falls? Your first taste of it is from the upper viewpoint, but the real magic is experienced standing at the base of the falls. From here, you could spend forever gazing at the intricate pathways the water takes cascading down the rocks. Such a lovely waterfall easily earns its spot here at number 12. At number 11 is Dunn Falls. Located near Bethel, Maine, Dunn Falls is a series of two impressive waterfalls. One a 70 foot tall fan waterfall and the other an 80 foot tall plunge waterfall. And the waterfalls are found along a two 2.2 mile long loop trail with the difficulty of off the beaten path. What could be better than one freakishly tall falls? Obviously two of them on the same trail and the cherry on top is that they are both wildly different types of waterfalls. Now if you force me to pick a favorite, maybe I choose the upper fall since you can get just a bit closer to the water and you know I'm a sucker for a good fanning horsetail. But I do love how imposing the lower falls feels in person where you almost can't see the whole falls at once. And it's pretty cool how it looks like it has multiple levels. Both falls combined make for an easy choice as number 11. At number 10 is Smalls Falls. Located near Rangeley, Maine, Smalls Falls is a 54 foot tall multi-tier horsetail and cascade waterfall. This hike also includes the bonus Chandler Mills Stream Falls, which is a 25 foot tall multi-tier horsetail and cascade waterfall. And the waterfalls are found on a 0.6 mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of a walk in the woods. And we have another two for one waterfall combo. That's 
seems to be a trend with this list. The main Smalls Falls has so many great viewpoints along the gorge. The many vantage points make it easy to see the various layers of the falls that really gives this waterfall its personality. All the slides, horsetails, and plunges up close and personal. Though I think the best views may be from the bridge across the stream or just after where you can easily perceive each layer of the falls all together as one. But be sure not to forget the one minute detour hike to Chandler Mill Stream Falls 2. It may only have one main viewpoint, but it sure is spectacular. The water fans out in so many streams and trickles, it feels like you're not even looking at just one waterfall. It's the combination of both falls together that bring them to their spot here at number 10. At number 9 is Step Falls. Located near Bethel, Maine, Step Falls is an impressive series of multiple horsetail cascade and slide waterfalls, and the waterfalls are found on a 1.2 mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of a walk in the woods. Now this is a waterfall many of you may have heard of or seen before, mainly because of its scenic beauty and gorgeous views. This falls has a nice easy trail to hike with plenty of viewpoints along the way. It also has nice, huge rock slabs that make fun pools, slides, and pathways for all of the water. Plus, these slabs offer tons of thrilling rock scrambling to get closer to the action. Oh, and that main falls is so awesome with its multiple levels of sliding water and three split sections, easily earning its spot here at number nine. At number 8 is Little Wilson Upper Falls. Located near Northeast Piscataquis, Maine, Little Wilson Upper Falls is a 40-foot tall horsetail waterfall, and the waterfall is found at the end of a 2.5 mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of off the beaten path. I thought this waterfall was so freaking cool. It was so tall that it was hard to capture in the camera all at once. Plus it had quite the impressive water flow. But coolest of all was the rectangular and black blocky gorge the waterfall is framed by. Not only do those blocks make the waterfall fall in a more interesting pattern, but they also offer some thrilling and easy rock scrambling opportunities to get closer to the base of the falls. Plus, it doesn't hurt that you get to check out a second bonus waterfall called the Lower Falls right at the beginning of the trail next to the parking lot. All of these factors helped bring this falls to its spot here at number 8. At number 7 is Houston Brook Falls. Located near Bingham, Maine, Houston Brook Falls is a 32-foot tall horsetail and plunge waterfall. And the waterfall is found at the end of a half mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of a walk in the woods. My jaw literally dropped when I came across this falls. It looked so freaking cool. It just had so many horsetails, different sections, and it was so wide that it made me feel so small in comparison. It almost seems like two different waterfalls were placed right next to each other it was so wide. And this is also our first instance of a falls being powerful enough that it created its own mist to spray both myself and the camera, which was a real treat. So many fun vantage points so close to the falls and all around the plunges easily earned this falls its spot at number 7. At number 6 are the Big and Little Niagara Falls. Located near Northeast Piscataquis, Maine in Baxter State Park, Big Niagara Falls is a 20-foot tall cascade waterfall, and Little Niagara Falls is a 20-foot tall slide waterfall. And the waterfalls are found on a 2.5 mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of a walk in the woods. Oh boy, those are some freaking big shoes to fill if you start invoking the name of Niagara when it comes to waterfalls. Luckily, Luckily, I think these two falls live up to the name with how much freaking water is gushing over both of them. I think these are the two most powerful falls in terms of flow rate that we've seen so far on the entire list. The Little Falls is the shorter one and spread out more like a huge slide, though it does fling some water off a cool jump near its end. However, the Big Falls was my favorite of the two and was more blocky looking, evoking more the image of a classic waterfall. I also enjoyed the shelves of both falls, which made it very easy to hike out and get much closer to the gushing and cascading water on each one, cementing their spot here at number 6. 
At number five is Shinbrook Falls, located near North Penobscot, Maine. Shinbrook Falls is a 30-foot tall plunge in horsetail waterfall, and the waterfall is found at the end of a 0.7 mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of off the beaten path. You know a waterfall is sure worth the hike when you can barely point your camera at it before getting wet. That's how much freaking mist was flying off this falls, a clear indication of the power and impressive heights of the waterfall. I personally love the sense of smallness that such waterfalls evoke when you're standing right next to them. My other favorite part of this falls was the one rock outcropping that pokes its head through the water, breaking the falls into a more unique shape. These details help earn this falls its spot here at number 5. At number 4 are the Gulf Hagus Waterfalls. Known as the Grand Canyon of Maine, Gulf Hagus contains four different waterfalls along the trail and is located near Brownville, Maine. Screw Auger Falls is a 15-foot tall plunge falls. Buttermilk Falls is a 10-foot tall horsetail falls. Billings Falls is a 15-foot tall plunge falls. And Stair Falls is a 4-foot tall series of cascading falls. And the waterfalls are found along a 9-mile long loop trail with the difficulty of a road less traveled. You won't find a single more awesome hike on this whole entire list. Simply miles of awesome gorge views to so in as you visit not one but four different and unique waterfalls. I was absolutely thrilled. From the moment I had to ford the river to start the trail, at each vertigo inducing overlook, and at each crazy steep descent to a falls, I'd honestly expect nothing less from some place likening itself to the Grand Canyon. Now to fully enjoy the gulf, be sure to hit each named landmark and viewpoint, from the Hammond Street pitch to Cole's Corner and to the freaking Jaws, as well as the many waterfalls. My favorite of the falls was Billings Falls because of its height, three cool stream sections, and the many various views that you get from across the falls and above the falls on the canyon ledges. Though I want to make a special shout out to Stair Falls for looking so strange and allowing me to get up so close to the water. And if those falls and epic huge hike are not enough for you, you can add a fifth bonus falls by visiting Haybrook Falls right next door. All of these falls and epic height combined together easily earned Gulf Hagus its spot here at number four. At number three is Grand Falls. Located near West Forks, Maine, Grand Falls is a 40-foot tall and 100-foot wide horseshoe and block waterfall. And the waterfall is found along a 1.5 mile long loop trail with the difficulty of a walk in the woods. Grand is such an appropriate name for this falls, both because of its raw, unmatched, powerful flow and for how freaking wide it is. A hundred feet across, the widest falls we've seen on the list and it's not even close. I love the perfect cliff viewpoint that's right at the perfect distance to let you truly soak it in all at once and marvel at the waterfall's roar. The hike to the falls is also delightful with a fun bridge crossing and a path that gives you glimpses of the falls before you get there. But in the end, it's the ferocity of the Grand Falls itself which helps claim its spot here at number three. At number two is Angel Falls. Located near Rumford, Maine, Angel Falls is a 90-foot tall plunge and horsetail waterfall. And the waterfall is found at the end of a 1.5 mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of off the beaten path. This waterfall is simply magical. It's such a freaking tall horsetail, it's hard to even believe. Easily claiming the spot of tallest waterfall we've seen so far. I absolutely loved how each horsetail kept splitting into to pieces on the way down, making impressive frothy cascades down the rocks. So frothy that once again the waterfall created its own misty wind, which was blowing off of it and guaranteed to get you wet. The trail to get to the falls was also fun with several stream crossings to keep it interesting. Such a tall and picturesque falls easily earns its spot here at number two. Now before we make it all the way to number one, let's check out some honorable mentions. First is Saudahunk Falls near Baxter State Park. Though an impressive 100 feet wide and quite powerful, the lack of a real drop made them feel more like a gigantic rapid instead of a waterfall. Next is Coos Canyon near Rumford. While a top-notch swimming hole and an impressive gorge, the falls feels more like a powerful water gush and not a waterfall. 
and the hike is non-existent. Next is Screw Auger Falls near Grafton. I personally found the gorge around the waterfall to be the far more interesting feature due to the fall's lack of height or power. And lastly, the Rattlesnake Pool near Stowe is, as the name implies, notable for its astoundingly clear turquoise plunge pool and not its unremarkable and small waterfall. And that means that the best waterfall hike in Maine is, of course, Moxie Falls. Located near West Forks, Maine, Moxie Falls is a 90-foot tall plunge and cascade waterfall. And the waterfall is found along a two-mile long out and back trail with the difficulty of a walk in the woods. I'm sure many of you saw this coming, but this waterfall simply blew me away when I saw it. So much raw power gushing over one of the freaking tallest drops in the whole state. It was an easy choice to pick as my best main waterfall. The trail is pleasant as well, with plenty of nice staircases to aid accessibility, and a nice deck created for the best vantage point. With such great views, Moxie Falls is the clear choice for number one. But hey, that's just my opinion. Now go get hiking! Yeah.